No, I think what it's going to take to end the shutdown or slow down, I think 83% of the government is actually up and running, is going to take what it does to end any disagreement. And that is sitting at the table and working out the details of what a way forward will be. And that always works. Uh, putting people at the table, negotiating through a process, showing respect for one another. So as soon as we can get on that track, and of course, we would love for the Senate to have been joining us on this track months ago, years ago even, as far as doing a budget. And I tell you, my hope is that they're going to do it. I've got to tell you, more women on both sides of the aisle, each chamber, House and Senate, Democrat and Republican. The more women that are here, the more expeditious we will be in getting the country's work done. Uh, women are more collaborative. Women don't have the egos. They don't bring those egos to the table. They look for opportunities to negotiate. They have a tendency to, when there is a disagreement, to point out the specifics of why and then try to negotiate their way or collaborate their way through that. And that is what we need. And I think if you took women out of the House and Senate and put us in a room and said, figure this out, we're going to give you 24 hours, we'd get the job done. And look at our great Republican governors, our female governors. We're going to have some wonderful women. Look at some of our women in the House and Senate who are doing a wonderful job, who are communicating, they're working, they're out there every day, they're doing great policy work in their committees, they're leading on very difficult issues, whether it is foreign policy or on tax policy or economic policy in this country. So we've got plenty of women. I think it's time to open the door and give more of them the opportunity.